Welcome back. People across the country, they're taking to the streets to demonstrate against racism and police brutality. And social media platforms have been responding as well. So here with more is tech consultant, host of the podcast, podcast Think About This, Shelley Palmer. Shelley, thank you so much for joining us. And Shelley, I do want to start with Blackout Tuesday, that hashtag. If you were scrolling through Instagram last week, you would have seen Black Square after Black Square. This was such a huge thing for people to participate in. Talk to us a bit more about that. Look, it was. I think it started um, as an idea that just got its own legs. Uh, over 120 million participants across all kinds of social media platforms. And it, it raised awareness. It dramatically raised awareness. So much so that uh, almost every social media company has either donated or pledged or promised to match donations. And uh, a lot of the companies, in fact, all of the social media companies, the big ones, have really called for or demanded change. Um, Twitter, for example, has provided a whole range of resources to foster understanding. And Jack Dorsey, Twitter CEO, mm -hmm. has also allocated several new grants for uh, via his um, Start Small initiative. And they also published an interesting guide to allyship. And that outlines how people can learn uh, all about racial injustice and what they can do to improve the situation. LinkedIn, which is obviously a very popular social network among business people, they've voiced their support in a lot of different ways. They've used the platform to share perspectives from black employees. Mm. And they've also created a series of LinkedIn learning courses on diversity and inclusion, and they make those available for free. YouTube pledged a million dollars in funding to support organizations that are uh, seeking to address injustice. And there's been an interesting stat, TikTok, which I know a lot of people love and a lot of people don't love. Yeah, I was gonna <laughs> ask you about TikTok because I was saying that TikTok would be the exact opposite of, of the users that LinkedIn would kind of be on. So, you know, TikTok being somewhat newer of a platform what, what are you seeing them doing so the black lives matter hashtag videos have accumulated over 2 billion views so far and what TikTok did is they established a new creator diversity panel or council so they're going to try and really become much more inclusive and become more aware of the diversity and inclusion that they have to deal with and they allocated three million dollars from their 250 million dollar COVID-19 relief fund uh, to the nonprofits that are specifically helping black communities so they're very on top of this at, at TikTok but the two billion videos of the Black Lives Matter hashtag was an interesting stat off of uh, TikTok, especially since they recently surpassed YouTube uh, mm. against uh, wow. videos watched by our. Uh, and of course, Facebook is in it too. Mark Zuckerberg posted a, a personal update to outline what he felt yeah. about the protests. The Chan Zuckerberg Initiative, which is their charitable organization, they pledged um, a mil a $10 million actually to the cause and they've got quite a few different programs to support uh, overcoming racial injustice. So it's been, it, there's been a lot of outpouring of support from the social media community and from big tech as well. Now Shelley, uh, when you see this on this scale, I don't think anyone could imagine how history would define this moment with the use of social media because it's, it's so invasive in our society. So if anyone posts anything, whether it's Black Lives Matter, supporting some you know information, you're part of quite a big piece of history. Look, social media amplifies everything that we do. And so the more you post about how you feel and the more you voice your opinion and the more people that tweet and retweet, it's the way social media works. And in this case, it's working for good because raising awareness of this particular issue has never been more important and it feels like there's real momentum and people are getting behind it and just remember when you post something post something positive post something that can help and also try to foster understanding yelling at each other on Twitter doesn't help but actually pointing to programs where people can learn about each other and and help solve this systemic issue. I think that's the best, highest use of social media. We get a chance to amplify the feelings. And also, we get to make sure that everybody's aware. You can help. It's not just television, right? Social yeah. media is mm -hmm. media that people use. I agree. Shelly couldn't put it better myself. Thank you so much for joining us, Shelly. We'll talk to you next week.